Will a dropper a day keep the doctor away? We're talking about CBD, a compound found in cannabis and hemp. It's becoming big business, expected to get even bigger now that hemp is no longer a Schedule One drug. But many want to know if the health benefits are all they are hyped up to be. Well, WECT's Ben Smart has looked at some powerful stories from an Air Force veteran and businessman. Plus, he's also looked at what the research says. So, Ben, CBD has already been FDA approved to treat seizures. What about these other benefits? Well, John, the scientific research is slowly catching up with the hype for certain medical conditions. What's notable, though, is the success stories from people who say CBD from hemp has helped where other medicines have not. So I went into the Air Force when I was 18. Air Force veteran Kristen Thomas joined the military right out of high school, but her career in aerospace medicine grounded by disabling migraines. They were getting more frequent and I was unable to continue to perform my job reliably and I was medically discharged after 10 years. It was very sad for me, um, heartbreaking. Her health battles continued as migraines were joined by night terrors, nausea, depression, and anxiety. I've tried over 15 medications. I've seen over 10 plus specialists and doctors. Then this past Thanksgiving, nausea forced her to cancel plans with a friend who then forced her to try CBD oil. CBD stands for cannabidiol, a chemical compound found most in industrial hemp plants. It does not contain THC like marijuana, so the user does not feel any sort of high. She comes in with her bottle and she says, open your, open your mouth. And she puts a dropper full of this stuff. She's like, lift up your tongue, stick this under your tongue. So, oh. Okay, fine. So I do that. Within just five minutes, she says her nausea faded away. I just didn't feel nauseous anymore. Um, after a week of using it, when I was at my family's house or my husband's family's house, I just felt like me again. Mm -hmm. Like I was able to smile and hang out with people and I didn't feel like I needed to go lay down. High praise for CBD also shared by Dr. James Taylor, an anesthesiologist currently treating more than 1,000 patients with CBD. I'm very excited for the future of this and how it's going to impact medicine. Dr. Taylor studied CBD with 100 of his patients last year. Uh, and three things rose to the surface. Uh, number one was sleep. Our patients slept so much better. Uh, the second thing we noticed was a uh, decrease in anxiety. The third thing we saw was hope. Uh, now that's a little harder for a physician to uh, kind of uh, put a number on, uh, on a scale from zero to 10, uh, how hopeful are you? Uh, but what we realized is that patients were getting kind of a mild antidepressant effect. Medical research on CBD is still in the early phases. One reason, the Drug Enforcement Agency only eased restrictions on clinical research in 2015. A scientific review published in 2015 of 49 other studies found CBD has major potential as a treatment for multiple anxiety disorders, but longer term studies are needed. Other research studies have found potential for treating PTSD, social anxiety, frequent nightmares, insomnia, and chronic pain. It's God, Alcoholics Anonymous, my family, and see the CBD oil. That's those are the main components in my life. 48-year-old Chris Livingston swears by CBD oil for help with his depression, anxiety, PTSD, and ADHD. The CBD comes along and it has completely changed my life. Livingston stresses he's seven years sober and is cautious about taking anything, but CBD passes his test. And I took it and about five, 10 minutes later, we're talking and we're looking at each other and we just stopped talking and I said, it's gone. And she said, what? And I said, it's gone. I feel completely normal. It was like a, the best way I can describe it is a peace, just a peace, calm. Today, both Livingston and Thomas say they take one dropper of CBD every morning and night. That's it. At least for these two, a dropper a day really does keep the doctor away. And Dr. Taylor points to a study in 2017 that showed up to 70% of CBD products do not contain what the bottle says. He says it's sort of the Wild West and recommends looking for products with third-party testing. 
And of course, always talk with your doctor before adding any new supplement to your routine.